December 6th, it's in the morning, it's like 8 a.m. Um, I'm not gonna be able to put out a video later, I'm not gonna be at my computer later. However, I wanted to talk about the market things that are happening because I don't know, but definitely, um, we kind of predicted that the election would come to this, you know, it wouldn't be decided on the day it's supposed to, and it's gonna be back and forth, and oh, just, the whole thing is just stupid, to be honest. It's so what's the word, like, fraudulent and conspiracy, you know, um, whatever, corrupt, I guess, on both sides, I'm not saying one side's corrupt and one isn't, they're both corrupt, it's just dumb, it doesn't matter though, but, I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't really, I can do about it, um, gold and silver took off yesterday, uh, it was four hour candles, but gold basically shot up like two something, two and a half percent, Silver was up like six percent at one time. I think crazy. Uh, the whole my whole portfolio moved like I don't even know, like seven percent maybe just from all the miners. MTA uh, metal royalty moved. Oh my god, it's moving even more. Um, right here, a seventeen percent yesterday. Absolutely crazy. Just getting bit up to. A I, I anticipated that, you know, these would fall a little bit, or even gold and silver, just because of the election, but I think now that it's getting priced in, Biden might win, um, he's gonna print debt, or make money, print debt, or print money, make debt, and just do that to oblivion, so, excellent for gold and silver. What else was I gonna say? Yeah, I kind of thought Trump would win, but I guess it's more leaning towards Biden. It's not decided yet. However, the market is definitely pricing in that Biden is going to win. So, yep. If it does, if he doesn't win, I'm expecting this market to fall. Just because it got overhyped. Like, ACB was up like 40-something percent yesterday. I got some in my mouth. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, uh, KCG was up, um, yesterday, was it, I guess here, was it kind of, no, it was definitely more than that, oh, my bad, this was the candle, yeah, these are four hour candles, what is this, what am I looking at, I don't know, it was up a lot, they report earnings really soon, uh, Neo, Neo, what is Neo doing? It's just like a hundred percent increase in like what actually is this from let's do from here from that breakout that's like sixty in like less than a month sixty percent bro. I know people on the channel like this stock and are invested in it and that's good that you have mad gains and I hope you do well but um I also hope that the company lives up to these expectations that are being placed on it because if not then you're gonna see big price swings downward. I'm not saying that, I'm just, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying I hope the company is able to perform the expectations the market is placing on it at these current levels within a reasonable time frame to justify paying the price of investing at that valuation. That's basically what I'm saying. Um, what else was space reported? Uh, I added Peloton to the list because obviously people are watching this and this increased a lot higher than I thought. The last time I saw this price, it was like 20, 28 bucks or something. But I guess the company's doing well, but interesting. Well, uh, yeah, we have a lot, or I made a bunch of videos on the gold miners. I still have to do a lot more. It's all reported at the same time and I just need to bang out the videos. Or I don't need to, but I want to you know, get the information from myself. Kirkland Gold, man, they, um, they got a mine or something, and Kirkland Gold, Gold ad added up some mine in January, I think, or February, and it's, man, creating so much cash for them. I think that's, it was such a good investment. Really happy with that decision, and how it's being paid off. I like this company a lot, almost more than NEM. Actually, I think I do like it more than NEM. I think I'm a bigger position in any of them, though, but it is what it is. I actually added to EMX yesterday. Um, not, not a lot, but I 
see that across the board. AG, you know, every, basically every gold miner is going to have this. And JDX kind of just reflects the discussion I guess we're having right now. A big shift in direction. This was actually a big selling, a lot of selling. That's all I kind of wanted to talk about. I guess. I guess moving forward. Like I, I, no matter who wins, no matter what happens, I see gold miners as a great investment for like the one to two year time horizon. I'm not doing any short term trading. I just don't see a point, especially until a like president is chosen. I think there's too much volatility. Sure, you can play the volatility, make money. But I just don't feel like losing money, and that's the risk that you also have to take when, if you want to make money. I'm going to make a video soon about other stocks I think I'm going to be purchasing this month. Just to give you a quick rundown. KL, great company. i got to buy it more. Hopefully it doesn't get too expensive too fast. But, um, yeah, I think I do really like MTA. I love how they're, they're being a little aggressive with their investments, but it's good. Exxon Mobil. Um, I still think this is a good buy. I would over leverage my portfolio in it, but I do want to add some more when now it's still at these prices. You definitely see who the president is, though. Uh, I guess I, I really want more KL. Uh, they're growing crazy. You know, I'll talk about this in a different video because I want to dedicate, like, specifically why I want to buy more. Oh, look at that line. Oof. Trend line. What is this line from? That actually did break well. See, it just fall right out of the technical analysis is a thing. Look at that. 